Morphological analysis can be used to generate additional ideas that would not normally spring to mind. The technique involves considering the function of a generic solution to a problem and breaking it down into a number of subsystems or subfunctions. For each subsystem or subfunction, you need to generate a variety of means to fulfil these. The subfunctions and potential means of fulfilling each of these subfunctions can be arranged in a grid. An overall solution is then formulated, formulated by selecting one means for each subfunction, and the combination of these forms the overall solution. Let's look at a generic chart. Here we can see a series of subfunctions. For a given subfunction, we have a row of corresponding means of fulfilling that subfunction. Here's an example chart. This is for a device to move pallets around a factory, warehouse, or loading bay. One might envisage that a generic pallet moving device would comprise subsystems for support, propulsion, power transmission, steering, stopping, lifting, and operation. A series of ideas or means for fulfilling each of these has been developed in the chart. For example, for stopping, one might use brakes, reverse thrust, a ratchet, magnetism, or even an anchor. The grid can be filled in by text or by sketches depicting the potential means of fulfilling the subsystem requirement. The morphological analysis creativity tool relies upon the user's selection of subfunction options to synthesize an overall solution. The user can explore the design space systematically using their experience to guide the outcome or experimentally. Let's see how this works in our example. Imagine that following some initial market assessments, that the board of a plant machinery company has decided that the company should explore options for the design of a product transporting pallets around factories and warehouses. You may be familiar with the range of pallet moving devices already on the market, such as pallet jacks and trucks. As it's a competitive world, innovation may be needed in order to compete. The use of morphological charts requires consideration of the function of subsystems rather than their specific details. A pallet moving device might consist of support, propulsion, power transmission, steering, stopping, and lifting subsystems. In using a chart, a selection can be made of one means of fulfilling a subsystem from a given row. An overall solution is then synthesized by pulling all of these elements together. Once you've made a selection, you can then do a sketch or synthesis, where you pull the elements you've selected together and create an overall solution. It's in the sketching or synthesis that formulation of the connections or synthesis between the subsystems occurs. By doing a selection and then a sketch or synthesis several times, making different selections each time, it's possible to come up with a wide range of options from a single chart. Early ideas may emerge that might not be practical, but may nevertheless inspire further thought. As well as diverse ideas emerging from the chart, by making the selections wheels, driven wheels, bottle gas, gears and shafts, turning wheels, hydraulic ram, and seated towards the front, the conventional form for a forklift truck is possible. Of interest, if a small variation in the selection is made, a substantial difference in the overall outcome is possible, as embodied in the Teletruck innovation, which gives a significant number of additional functionalities such as being able to reach over a pallet or unload a flatbed truck from just one side.